Hello and welcome back to 4FS Gaming. Over the Christmas break, I've been able to play a fair bit of Hunt Showdown and I've noticed some significant differences between the top players and everyone else. This is the video for people that are stuck, who don't know how to improve their game and are becoming disheartened. For those that are consistently wiping servers, you are probably already doing most of the things I'm going to mention here. So I'm going to talk about 8 tips and habits that will bring up your game. Things that will convert you from the hunted into the hunter. These are the things that good players do to wipe servers. These are the things that people do when they want to dominate the battlefield rather than just sneak out with a lucky bounty every now and then. Let's get stuck in. Number one, use consumables freely. Many struggling players try and save their consumable items, scared to use them because they might need them later, only to end up dead anyway. Experienced players use their throwables a lot. You can get them back really easily now from item boxes and double that with their rather cheap pack mule trait, you can get twice the number back in each item box. Consumables are the answer to people who camp in buildings. If you don't like campers, you're probably not using your consumables enough because it's basically free kills and they allow you to easily clear rooms and shotgunners without exposing yourself to danger. A good player doesn't save their consumables, they use them a lot. The main ones to look out for are dynamite bundles, frag bombs and hellfires, although flash bombs are also pretty popular as well. To be honest, for the purposes of making someone move inside a building, pretty much anything will do. Even the fuse on a smoke bomb is enough to tell you where someone is as their footsteps frantically scuttle around. Use them to flush people out of cover or deal that last bit of damage as they hide away to heal. Now the second thing that really good players do is that they tend to not peek the same spot twice. This is critical. If you peek a window, take a shot, hide, and then appear in the same spot only to have your head blown off, well, you know what I'm talking about. When in gunfights at range, it's all about peeking, shooting, and taking cover. But you need to do this from different angles. This is why peeking from inside a building is much worse than peeking from outside a building, and it's very dangerous, because you often have very limited sights to look out from, and they're going to be covered by people outside looking at you. Players that struggle in Hunt are the kind of players that keep peeking the same angle or window without changing position, while experienced hunters will constantly move so enemies must guess as to where that shot is coming from. Now speaking of constant movement, our third habit is that great hunters are always searching for better positioning, and in most cases this means pushing the flank. Weaker players like to stand right next to their partner or partners, but once you have the confidence to split up, take a wide angle and deny your enemy of cover, the game becomes a lot easier. Always be looking for a flank, and likewise always be expecting the enemy to try and flank you. If you engage a team and you only see one guy holding your attention for more than 15 seconds, you are probably being flanked and should watch out for that. Do this to your enemies, move behind cover to the side, and push in when they don't expect it. Our fourth habit is to keep moving out of combat as well. Now all the time when I'm looking at the Hunt Showdown Discord or Reddit, a player will be complaining about how they don't understand why they're getting killed so often, and they always say something like, I never trigger any crows or chickens. Now this is a classic phrase that I hear a lot. It implies to me that this is the kind of player that likes to crouch walk everywhere. Don't do that. Move as fast as you can at all times. You will be harder to hit. Avoid crouch walking in the open and avoid deep water. Now I'm the kind of player that doesn't like to make unnecessary noise, I won't shoot unless I have to and I'll probably go around crows most of the time, but don't worry so much if you do make noise. It's better to be loud in a good position than silent in a bad position. A classic example of this is crouch walking through a field of hives and dogs in order not to trigger them. If you get shot, you are done. It's better to either go right around the field or to just quickly clear the field with a knife and keep on running. Now for habit number five, the best hunters will switch weapons a lot. They go from primary to secondary and back to primary all the time during fights, using both guns very, very close together. This is important for a number of reasons, but it does favor certain loadouts. It allows you to follow up very fast after hitting with the popular single shot weapons like the Sparks, and you can also fire a follow up shot much faster by switching to a secondary when using the Mosin or Labelle, as the bolt action animation is quite slow for both of them. By switching your weapon all the time, you can also ensure that you're using the best weapon for the range that you're in. So many times I've run up to someone trying to fire a Mosin at me when they had a uppercut with fanning on them that could have cut me down much, much more easily. So make sure you're using the best advantage out of both your weapons. That sidearm's there for a reason, 
and I'm sorry taking an Agant Silencer and using it only to kill hives is a pretty bad use of a weapon slot. Now number 6 is a big one for me. It's that you miss every shot that you don't take. You cannot be afraid to shoot in this game. You can spend ages trying to line up the perfect headshot, but in that time you will become mincemeat. So often volume of fire can win fights. Over the last few weeks I've come up against trios hiding in boss buildings with rifles, but they never peek or leave the building to take a shot, and we inevitably wear them down with wall bangs and throwables, often farming 5 or 6 kills off the same team. So be bold, take your shots, because if you don't you're never going to hit anything. Fire at walls, fire at things in the distance that might be a hunter but you're not sure, and even fire at that hive that's about to poison you out in the field because if someone is close enough to shoot you, then they've already heard it scream and your bullet will provide no important information to them. Just don't be afraid to shoot, it's how you kill things. Number 7, get over the gear fear. Hunt dollars are now more abundant than ever. This means that unless you are truly broke, you shouldn't concern yourself with cheap loadouts. Take long ammo rifles, strong shotguns and secondaries like the uppercut and the dolch, never skimp on healing shots and strong throwables, and always equip yourself for success. This doesn't mean only using the Aftermath or the Nitro, as even the Winfield and Romero, I think, are really competitive weapons and I like using them. But going in with a totally free Hunter and his unedited combat axe and the Gantt loadout, well, I'd happily do that for fun, but if you're already struggling at Hunt, then I don't recommend putting yourself at an even greater disadvantage. Finally, our eighth tip is to seek out fights. Sneaking out with the bounty is technically a win, but it doesn't make you any better at the game. Unless your two teammates are red skulled or you're missing half your health and out of heals, try not to leave when there is still a fight to be had on the server. Go towards gunshots, go for the gauntlet every time, as this is the fastest road to improvement. You don't get better at fighting by running away. It's not going to be immediate, it'll take time, but fights are how you get better. Now these 8 behaviours really make up the difference between hunters and the hunted. You need to have a predatory mindset when you play this game. Use all of the tools at your disposal. Favour speed over stealth. Always seek to flank your enemies. Never peek the same angle twice. Take the shot when it presents itself because not taking it is the same as missing. And always seek out the enemy. This is how you improve. Not by sitting in buildings shaking in fear and then sprinting to the extraction. If you were afraid of enemy hunters, then you've already lost. You need to see them as prey, stalk them, push them when they are in a position of weakness, and cut them down. If they have top tier loadouts and really expensive weapons, that's still not a reason to be afraid. You should see them as a walking opportunity to steal their stuff. Pretty much anyone that's put more than 100 hours into this game does so to kill other players, they're not interested in the PvE, and if you want to compete with them, you're going to need that mindset as well. So I hope this helps, good luck out there in the swamps. Please don't come to the discord complaining, I don't know what's happening, I keep dying but I never set off crows, there's a reason we call new players crouch walkers in this community. If you like what you see, feel free to subscribe or like this video, and you can also check out our discord linked in the description below, along with our twitch channel where we occasionally stream, hopefully going to be doing that a bit more. Tell us what you think in the comments, and thank you so much for watching. This is Ascendance from 4FS Gaming.